Oh, I forgot the fucking orange on the other nipple. They're gonna be like, why does this nipple have orange and this one doesn't? I am so insanely excited. That's the only way I can put it. I'm just so grateful that I'm here to really show people how incredibly serious I am about this. I'm done being a team player. Danny and Jason were the two people that I would have chose to go up against in the finale, and I got my wish. I don't want anyone on that stage that is going to take tattooing for granted. Disregarding teams, disregarding alliances, this is all me now. This is strictly what I have to do. My competitors, Danny and Creepy Jason, gave me traditional Japanese for this challenge. They were trying to trip me up with this just because traditional Japanese, it does have a lot of, a lot of rules, a lot of guidelines that you have to stick by. I did my research. I can't tell you how excited I am. Oh, wow. That's amazing. So this is Raijin. He is the Japanese Slender God. Raijin controls the rain and the thunder. Any sort of people that really relied on the weather to grow their crops to make rice, anything like that, they would worship this guy. He is an oni, which are usually depicted as like these big red motherfuckers with like teeth, and usually they have pelts along their waist, usually tigers. These are taiko drums, and how he creates the lightning is he bangs on the drums. And I kind of chose that too to kind of like share my love of music. His drumsticks, if you look very closely, have little intricate patterns on them. They have little bats. I wanted to make a really strong image that you can not only see from far away, but once you get up close, you can see all of these little things. I'm gonna sit through it, try to make your life easy. Uh, don't worry, yeah, I'm not gonna make your life yeah. too horrible either. So. <laughs> So my approach is, I'm gonna get him on, just the figure. Oh, well, look at him go. Isn't he handsome? Everything has to flow in a certain way. So like having the lightning kind of go with the direction of the wind, as you can see. Wow. Another thing is the rule of three, having foreground, subject matter, and a background. I'm actually gonna be freehanding a lot of this on you. Just because freehanding on the skin, it's gonna make it flow with your body. Oh my God, that's fucking awesome. Look good? Yeah. Well, that worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Yeah, it can. <laughs> Do you want to take one more look at it? Oh yeah. That was good. You are the boss. You let me know if you need a break. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Here we go. I just really wanted to do my research and make sure every single thing in this means something. There's a lot of rules when it comes to Japanese traditional, the varying line widths. A lot of your detailed lines are gonna be smaller, like with hands, feet, and hair. And then you have sculpted lines that you usually see in cloth and like some of the bigger features. Yeah, I was gonna do like a, a beautiful samurai chick, but As far as art goes, tattooing isn't just like the only thing that I love to do. Originally I was going to college for animation and game design and that was something that I'm still to this day really passionate about. Telling stories and making interactive little games. And through tattooing, even though I wasn't able to pursue the animation thing, you know, tattooing, you're still able to tell a story through it. All right, so I am done. Yes. What do you think? Looks amazing. It's a fucking rock star. Yeah, it looks He's good. He's got to have big 80s hair, man. So we're given 35 hours, seven down. We got the line work done today, mm -hmm. shading in the hair. My plan for next time is to start the background. No scarring, the lines are all pretty solid. Yeah, I'm really pleased. I'm really happy you took good care of it. All right, I'm gonna start down here, your favorite spot. Yeah. Just get it out of the way. I could sing to you, but I would have to make up a song that's not copywritten. My main thing I wanted to get done today is the background. I want to put a lot of heavy black in. Usually with these traditional back pieces, the backgrounds are really dark, really heavy black, to kind of like push that color forward. 
My first year of tattooing, I was just afraid to pack black. And then all my pieces started to come back and parts of it was missing. And I'm like, no, I have to be more deliberate with what I'm doing. Dude, you did great. Thank you. Background is pretty much completed. Um, besides that little bubble right there and a few spots up here otherwise. Um, got a lot of surface area covered, so um, my plan for next time is to probably finish up that little bit we had left down there and uh, start coloring. I have a whole new respect for Japanese tattooing. It's so complex. I was a total idiot for not appreciating this form of art. Considering that I've never done traditional Japanese, I feel like this is turning out way better than I thought it would. All right, session three down. Wanna take a look? <laughs> That's pretty cool, man, not gonna lie. Finished up the background, uh, started coloring him, pretty much got him down. Started these taiko drums, um, and then next time, uh, we're probably just gonna continue on with the coloring. Yeah. Elbows, man, you did great. I fucking love this thing, dude. Yeah, I love it too. Yeah, plan is, this is a super fun part. I get to color everything. The only stencil that I will have to mess with is uh, the little patterns, little mums and skulls. The little skulls would be on this fabric. Probably gonna go ahead, do that black so it really pushes the tiger out. I don't know why that skull is on his belly. There we go. The patterns always go in one direction. So I'm gonna have the skulls face the same direction as the lightning. Let's do one up here too. So it kind of creates a harmony throughout the piece, having the lightning, the wind, the clouds, all going in the same direction. Cool. All right, dude, I'm done torturing you. Relief. Relief, <laughs> best words you ever heard. Yes. <laughs> dude, I can't believe it's almost done. Me either. Getting that solid color in really just made the whole piece pop. As you see the little details, little skull, mm -hmm. fabric designs. That session, pretty much gonna go ahead, touch up. I'm gonna fill in the strip of blank here and maybe put some patterns on his robe. His robe. Honestly, just touch-ups and, and that, and then we're, we're golden, we're good. So we're drinking beer. Like, and then we're gonna drink a beer. <laughs> All right, Bo, this is it. For me to get Japanese traditional, this was the hardest thing that you can ask someone to do. This is the first Japanese traditional back piece in the history of Ink Master. Literally every single element that goes into this, I researched. I basically dedicated a small portion of my life to this style. A little bit there, a little bit there. This isn't the only Japanese traditional back piece that I'm gonna be doing in my lifetime. I'm gonna be doing a lot more. The title to me is important because when I think of an ink master, I think of someone that takes this job incredibly seriously. How do you feel, Bo? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> like I got hit by a bus. Yeah, same. Dude, it's killer, man. It's surreal. I have no words. This is by far the most important tattoo of my career. It's gonna be a huge accomplishment. It's huge, huge, dude. I'm super proud of you for like sitting through this. There was a few times where I'm like, this guy's gonna fucking kill me. Today. He's gonna, gonna kill me. Today was the day. <laughs> so what do we do next, Laura? Well, uh, we go to Vegas and win $100,000.